I don't know how I feel. I've always believed all living beings on this earth have feelings. I've never actually seen a living um, an insect or like a bug before. But I just went in my mum's room and I saw two wood louse. Um, it looked like they were mating, so I kind of, I didn't know if they were dead or not because I wanted to put them outside. So I just went, I blew on them and then the top one started wriggling. So I ran out of the room and then I went back in a few minutes later and the top one had moved away. And then I saw that the one underneath was not alive, it was dead. And it looked like it had been dead for a few days, it was kind of crispy. And the one on top was obviously protecting it, mourning it, hugging it, kissing it, loving it. And I've just never witnessed compassion within an insect before. So it's just kind of, it's kind of beautiful, but a little bit upsetting. But then I called my friend Alicia, who's now calling me. <laughs> and we cried together on the phone. Hello? Are you still crying from the wood louse? I'm laughing and crying. You're laughing and crying. I'm literally making a, a YouTube video right now and you're on speaker, but so you're going to be on YouTube soon. So do you want to say anything about the wood louse? What YouTube video? I was just making one about compassion in animals and stuff. So if you want to say anything, you must say it now. <laughs> oh, baby girl. It's a beautiful thing. It's a good emotion to have. <laughs> I couldn't think of anyone else to call when I saw it. It had to be you. <laughs> oh, I love you lots. I'll see you shortly. Bye. Bye. Yeah, as you can see, that was really good timing. Um, it was an unusual emotion. That wasn't sad. It was just really confirming. Mum, is there anything you want to say in my video? Because it was in your bedroom. No. No. <laughs> I don't think she cares. Oh, I'm just it. Um, yeah. Mm. I've noticed a lot of people will just kind of tread on insects and stuff. I just think, oh, it's just a wood louse. It's just an ant. And I think it's not just a wood louse, though. If you know that wood louse has a brain, it has a heart. It means it knows when it's in pain. It knows when one of its friends or family is in pain. You kill that wood louse and another wood louse is going to mourn it. No different to when one of our friends or one of our family members is killed. And I know a lot of people are going to watch this and think, get a grip. But I'm really comp I am compassionate towards animals. I'm a vegan myself. Um, yeah, and I just wanted, to, just wanted to say that. I've now witness would love compassion with my own eyes and I think it was really special um, just be mindful watch where you're walking on the ground I always look at the floor when I'm walking when it's raining so I don't tread on like a snail or a slug it's just the little things in life the little things <laughs> anyway sending love and light have an amazing day <laughs> we've just got to remember regardless of what species is what and how big they are we are not superior. We are all these different species occupying one planet. And do you know what that means? We are one. We are one. We are one. I have, I have to end it there. We are one. Love and light. Again. <laughs>